Hey guys, welcome back to Harmon Homestead. We are working fast this morning. Unexpected rain, supposed to hit this afternoon. And we are putting ammonia on our corn. My dad's gonna come down here later. My husband's trying to cut grass around this garden spot. So let me show you what we've done real quick. So I've talked and talked about the trenches between my corn after the flood. Well, I thought this was pretty, uh, pretty smart what we did. I have backfilled this entire trench with compost and Kellogg's garden soil, and then I'm gonna throw ammonia on top of it. It's about six foot between these rows. Hey, I didn't have any dirt to put back in here. This is what we're doing. It'll do nothing but help this dirt down here. It'll help the pasture. The corn is looking awesome. We have got to get ammonia on it. You can see here the trench that where cow peas were. I'm just gonna start backfilling this too. I'm gonna hoe it out, get it nice and even, and we may actually try to replant these. I had just a few sprout, as you can see, on that second row, but I'm gonna take care of business. I'm scared tonight that it's all gonna wash out. That's why I'm trying so hard to backfill this, and I went ahead and pulled up a few corn sprouts we had that came up in this third row that was wiped away. So that's what we're doing. So we're actually gonna side dress it um and backfill at the same time so that's what we're up to this morning okay guys so we've dug our trench to put our ammonia in this one we've backfilled with compost and kellogg's garden soil on this side i tried to amend this rain trench and then i am going to replant cow peas all the way down the row as you can see it looks like it's about to rain any minute. We're gonna get after it. This is our bottom section of corn. I've got seven rows here. I've dug trenches out between each row. All right, so I have just an old pickle jar full of this right here. It's 33 double zero, pure ammonia. And I'm just gonna start sprinkling. Just like so. And we're going to do that all the way down the road. Okay, guys, we're done. I'm just going to cover this up. Where the trench was the worst, I went pretty heavy on the ammonia, but it's six foot between the rows. It may be too much. It may not be enough, but I did the best I could do. I'll walk down here and show you. I side dressed it just a little bit on the edge, but this, this is what you want right here from what I understand so we've got to cover it up before the rain but guys this will benefit this corn so much so much I'll show you these little short rows down here all right so I've got my trench dug out between each row and each row is fertilized with the ammonia. You, you can tell that I dug pretty deep. Um, I don't want any of it washing back up onto the plants. I just wanted to make sure it was, you know, hoed out real well. And by the looks of it, I've got to work quick. All right, y'all. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Still haven't planted the cow peas. I'm racing against the clock with this rain. But I have tried to even this out as best I can by hand. So actually looks pretty good we've got our corn fertilized and it looks like we're gonna get some rain we'll see you next time on Harmon homestead <laughs> 